So, this is another section. Today we're going to learn about how to become the world's greatest detective. Batman. So, first of all, if you are the world's greatest detective, you've got to be undercover. Not always, but you've got to be undercover. I would recommend that if you want to be the world's greatest detective, that you have to be a criminal at some point in your life. I don't care what you do. But do something. Maybe get into a bit of danger. Maybe not serious, serious danger. Maybe make it up as more dangerous than it should be. But don't don't try to kill yourself. Don't get in with gangs. Have a bookstore. Like fuck. Do something easy. Don't make life complicated for yourself. You're a detective. You are the law. But the thing is, what happens if the law is not on your side? What if the law not even on the city. What do you do then? Do you remove your mask? Or do you keep your mask and pay attention to what's happening? Because if you do that, you can easily achieve this. It's not that hard. All you have to do is know that in your heart, you're a good person. If you're com committing treason, you think that in the end, it's going to better society. But you also have to know that even though you're trying to think like a criminal and maybe behave like one just so you can get inside to stop whatever's about to happen, or get all the clues before all the clues have actually been delivered to the police station, then you need to just be aware that you need to keep going and, and not give up on what's happening. And Yes, you might have to get into some things that you might not have wanted to do, but you're the world's greatest detective. No one else is going to do this. You have to do it. But I would propose not wearing a mask. See, fear in the name is fear itself. But the thing is, if you're hiding under a mask, why are you hiding under why is your face, the face that God gave you, or your mother, so your father too, but you remain a weird patriot dish, why are you denying them this face? See, the problem with what Walter White did was he hid behind a persona, Heisenberg. That is why everything fell apart. Because it's very easy to unravel a pseudonym. Batman, though, enjoys being Batman. I am Batman. Michael Keaton, look at that face. It's such a nice face. You know, you could, like, play golf on that face. Same thing with Christian Bale's face. But the thing is... Michael Keaton has an attractiveness that Christian Bale doesn't really have. He's more of the good-looking Bruce Wayne. Ben Affleck is more of the grizzled Bruce Wayne. Like, I hate life. It's brought me down to this low. I will kill all of you. Robin is dead. There is no humanity. Like, he is... He thinks he's living in the fucking apocalypse. Jesus. Anyway, um... Christian Bale did something amazing. He didn't just be Batman. 
He became a spook. What are you? I'm Batman. Of course, that's from Michael Keaton's Batman, but that's like... It's like what Tim Burton was trying to do. It wasn't just about the killing joke and the Joker. It was about Batman. See, in the end, you don't want to be villains. You want to be heroes. But how do you become a hero without having superpowers? How do you become Batman? I don't know. But I can tell you, if you want to be the world's greatest detective, keep your ears on, keep your eyes open, observe the entire world. Read Sherlock Holmes, and then read Michael Connelly's Box series, and then read up on your Batman comics, if you care about but you don't need to become Batman to become the world's greatest detective. All you need to do is think that you're the world's greatest detective. And one day, you will be. But you can't rush it. And you can't believe in these grand schemes that might never come true. See, the brilliance of the Joker is he doesn't care what happens. He just wants to see it all explode. But if it doesn't, is he going to blame humanity? Is he going to blame Batman? I mean, in the beginning, he wants to kill Batman. And then he's like, you know, I kind of changed his heart. Eh, I don't want to kill Batman. I realize Batman is just like me. I mean, they led you up to that anyway. Like, you just watch the ending of Batman Begins, and it's just like, you know, it's like you. Put the theatrics. He leaves a calling card to Joker. I mean, that's cool. Also, what's stupid is um, a lot of the Jokers are not the Joker. They're Joker. So the Joker now is a name. So now I'm like telling you, a name is more fearful than a persona. The Joker is a persona. Batman is a persona, but he's doing something different than all these criminals. You know, he's actually trying to protect the city, but he has to go underground of the city, like metaphorically and maybe physically, to real, well, he does physically, but not really so, to figure out why is this happening? Why is my city crumbling? Because if you really want to be the world's greatest detective, you've got to care about your city. If you look and you see someone rob a store, you shouldn't smile, you shouldn't clap, and you shouldn't just expect that this is a good thing or expect it to happen again and not care. See, those are what makes weak people. If you see a girl being beaten up or raped or God knows what, you intervene. I don't give a shit if he's six foot two and built like a house. You fucking intervene. And if you get beat up because of that, you saved a girl's life. Hell, save a boy's life. Save a man's life. It doesn't matter. Because in the end, we don't all want to be detectives. We just want to be good citizens. So no, I don't recommend you don this cap. I don't recommend you don this part of the cap. Or this part of the cap. Or even that. Like, if you want to be Batman... Don't. But, if you want to be part of my society, welcome to the Joker's Club.